Kazakhstan is preparing for a second troop for peacekeeping mission in Lebanon. 120 soldiers will replace the first troop at the end of April. Currently, they are being trained in Almaty region by officers and surgeons who are experienced in peacekeeping. The military personnel are being taught on the general regulations and structure of the United Nations. They are also undergoing training in organizing checks at roadblocks and checkpoints. The peacekeepers will stay in Lebanon for half a year. Their main task is to control the border and maintain peace in the country. The Kazakh Ministry of Defense believes that foreign peacekeeping missions will allow the military to gain useful experience. <laughs> We are very grateful to Kazakhstan. We work together uh, in uh, deploying troops in uh, Lebanon. Uh, Indian and Kazakh troops are now working together for the first time in a co-deployment for the UN. It's for the first time that the UN has had such an experience of two countries bringing their troops, working together for global peace and security. So we are grateful to Kazakhstan for uh, working together. Prod Expo, the 26th international exhibition for food, beverages and food raw materials, took place in Russia. Approximately 2,500 companies from 70 countries, including Kazakhstan, took part in the exhibition. Two dozens of Kazakh producers have presented high-quality green products. Participants and guests of the exhibition spoke highly of the goods from Kazakhstan. The stand of the regional company was one of the most popular. Our company aims to make this quality product affordable for every consumer and family, so our relatives and friends can also buy it. This is why we work as part of Russia's Central Federal District and we distribute more than 30 contracts of Kazakh manufacturers. The monthly sale revenue of our company amounts from 350 to 500 tons of products. Organizers of the exhibition say that the event allows companies to expand the market and find new business partners. Kazakhstan systematically expands its geography of deliveries. By 2022, the country's non-resource-based exports will increase by 1.5 times. We actively receive the state support in promoting the company's export potential. Using such gradual and effective methods, we have occupied 13.5% of the Russian market in 2018. Today, Kazakhstan exports nearly 800 kinds of products to 119 countries. On average, every year, exports increase for five to eight items. Last year, Kazakhstan has started exporting honey to the United Arab Emirates on an industrial scale. Kazakh ice cream was also exported to China for the first time. In addition, the meat export agreement was signed with China for the next five years. Indicators of the agro-industrial complex in the Almaty region have been significantly improved. In 2018, the region's gross domestic product in agriculture amounted to 50 billion tinge. Yields of potatoes, oil seeds, fruits and berries have been increased. Investors are paying more attention to agriculture. Last year, 5 billion tinge were invested into the region. Experts say that the amount of investments will double in 2019. Implementation of several major projects is planned, including an open opening of a greenhouse complex, a laboratory for cultivating fruit trees and a feedlot for thousands of cattle. We have opened one greenhouse. 2.6 billion tinge was invested into its construction. A commercial dairy farm for 50 cattle has been launched. We plan to expand the farm in the future. Today, the country's agribusiness is one of the fastest-growing sectors of the economy. Last year, the amount of investments in Kazakhstan's agribusiness exceeded 176 billion tinge. The country's three regions, specifically North Kazakhstan, Kostanai and Akmola regions, have made more than half of all investments. With foreign investments, Kazakhstan could significantly increase the amount of domestic production and expand the deliveries of agricultural products.
Fifty agriculture specialists from Kazakhstan will be trained in the world's leading universities this year. The number of trained specialists will be increased by six times by 2021. The international universities are selected based on the different areas of agro-industrial sector. The country has signed agreements with U.S. universities for the training. Some of the Kazakh agriculture specialists will learn about America's experience in growing crops, while others will go to the Netherlands to learn about the production of dairy products. <laughs> Specialists are chosen based on a few requirements. The first requirement is that the applicant must know and speak the language. Secondly, it is not open to fresh graduates because it is only for specialists who have an experience in this field for at least two or three years. Only after they gain some experience, they can improve their skills. Kazakhstan plans a complete revision of approaches to training agriculture specialists. The agreement on creating the Agro-Technological Community Service Centre in the Republic has been signed. There will be 22 centres based on existing production sites. New reforms will significantly improve the legal and economic investment climate in Tajikistan. Experts say that the small and medium-sized enterprises will be financed more quickly and efficiently due to the adopted legislative amendments. The new law will positively affect the protection of investment capital. Due to the changes included into the law on the pledge of real estate, financial institutions will be able to accept collaterals in the form of property, equipment, receivables and commodity as credit security. Правительство поручило всем министерствам и ведомствам the government assigned ministries and officials to consider the legislative aspects of business transactions and improve the financial accessibility for small and medium-sized enterprises. To date, legislative amendments have been adopted in eight normative legal documents, including the Law on Pledge and the Civil Code. The government launched an electronic tax register in January. Также буквально на в январе месяце запустился электронный залоговый реестр. Hypothyroidism is a common symptom among newborns in Kyrgyzstan. Doctors say that it is crucial to diagnose the endocrine system disorder as early as possible as it affects the body's metabolism. There could be serious complications such as disability if left untreated. The illness is caused when the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. According to statistics, over 100 babies are born with hypothyroidism every year in Kyrgyzstan. There is one case for 1,500 people. This means that the condition is quite common. Due to late diagnosis, children usually become disabled. A consequence of hypothyroidism is mental or physical retardation. In fact, all newborns must undergo screening. An early screening can be done remotely in any city or village in Kyrgyzstan. The laboratory can process more than 1,500 tests per day. On the third day after birth, the baby's blood is drawn from his or her heel and put on this type of blotting paper. Only one drop of blood. The paper is then placed in an envelope and sent to the laboratory. Doctors say that many symptoms of majority genetic disorders are not visible in early childhood. Therefore, the doctors plan to conduct more tests to identify children with serious illness. This equipment is for those who are diagnosed with hypothyroidism. In the future, we will use another equipment that could detect phenylketonuria, which is an inherited disorder of respiratory system. We also want to detect cystic fibrosis, a disorder that affects gastrointestinal tract. According to doctors, the diagnosis of hypothyroidism is free for Kyrgyz citizens. A unique heart surgery took place in Semain. A patient went through the aortic valve replacement without incision in the chest. 
New medical materials and technologies allowed surgeons to reach the patient's heart through the femoral arteries. The procedure is minimally invasive. Doctors say that such surgery will help save lives of patients who can't tolerate traditional method of the aortic valve replacement. Famous Turkish professor Tioman Kilic conducted the demonstrative surgery for his colleagues in Semay. Today we will uh, make a transcatheter implantation to the uh, patients with severe aortic stenosis and high risk for open heart surgery. These patients are, uh, this kind of patients can be risky for open heart surgery because of their high risk scores. The aortic valve replacement is expensive. The prosthesis alone costs a 6 million tinge. However, the procedure is free for Kazakhstani citizens due to the social responsibility policy. Patients recover faster with the new method compared to the traditional surgical method. The risk of post-operation complications is lower and the length of stay in hospital is shorter. Previously, we didn't operate on patients with a severe heart failure since the patient's heart could not tolerate the surgical intervention. Due to high technologies in medicine, now we can give the patients a timely assistance. Of course, this is a very expensive surgery. However, the patients can get a Republican quota. Today, 64 patients are treated in the cardiac surgery department. Three of them will undergo the newly improved method of aortic valve replacement. An innovative learning approach was introduced in one of the schools for gifted children in Kostanai. Two robots have been assisting the teachers since the beginning of the academic year. One of the robots, named T, stands at the main entrance. The robot greets visitors and introduces them to the school. I, the second robot, teaches astronomy. The robots constantly monitor the teaching progress. However, they do not rate the students. The teachers at the school said that the robots also act as a friend for the students. When we saw the robots for the first time, we were very surprised. Only our school has such robots. The robots not only teach lessons, but can also move its hands, dance and tell funny stories. The robots can also have a dialogue with the students. They can ask them any questions. Both students and teachers have implemented special programs for the intellectual robots. Other robots are also being created by high school students. A new spiritual and cultural center is being constructed in Turkistan. The center is located near the mausoleum of Khoja Ahmed Yasawi. Once completed, the mausoleum and center will become a single architectural ensemble of Turkistan. The new center is 98 hectares and consists of eight unique smaller facilities such as a universal research library, tourist center, amphitheater, musical fountain as well as Yasawi Museum and Center. Other important complexes will also be built to decorate the spiritual capital of Kazakhstan. Turkistan is one of the most ancient cities in Kazakhstan and Central Asia. The city is built in oriental design. Everything in Turkistan corresponds to the east, including the climate, society and culture. We plan to create eastern architectural design for the new center. Foundation of an Eastern-style bathhouse is laid. It is a gift to Turkistan by the mayor's office of Gizelorda region. The bathhouse will have historical architectural patterns. The construction of the Eastern-style bathhouse should be completed in October. The bathhouse will place 500 people, 250 men and 250 women. The facility is 1,400 square meters. The bathhouse will be equipped with latest technologies. In the next five years, the Kultobe settlement will be restored. A sports center, a stadium for 7,000 spectators and a children's palace will also be opened in the regional center.
Kazakhstan talents have won the hearts of Americans. Popular singers Dimash Kudaibergen and Danelia Tuleshova took part in the world's best television show. Dimash performed a famous French song, SOS, Don Tegrian and Detresse. All of the judges applauded him. He sang five octaves in a song, which is rarely heard. The Kazakh singer earned 98 points out of 100. The most awaited performance was by 12-year-old Danelia Tuleshova. She sang The Rise Up by Andra Day. Judges burst into tears during her performance. Popular Hollywood actress Drew Barrymore could not hide her emotions. The judges were amazed by Danelia's voice, calling her the vocal wonder. Danelia scored 96 out of 100 points. I was surprised when I found out that Dimash will also take part in this TV show. According to the privacy policy agreement, we could not communicate with each other, which was why we had no idea about our participations. We were glad to see each other, but at the same time we were a little sad that we had to compete with each other. Right Danelia is currently in the U.S. as a special guest of the World's Best Campaign. She participates in popular television shows in America. Danelia Tuleshova shared her future plans with audiences of the show. She will be releasing her solo album soon. She has also launched her own clothing brand. Kazakh experts believe that Kazakh dishes should be included into students' school meal plan due to its good taste and nutrients. Ethnographer of a local Khali Kazinasi Research Institute, Agiri Musagajinova, said that there are more than hundreds of recipes of Kazakh dishes. She has started to popularize the recipes of the traditional dishes and studied the nutritional value during her expeditions around Kazakhstan. Сама лично я уже много лет, около... I personally have been traveling on expeditions for many years, for about 13 years. I have explored many regions in Kazakhstan and I have found that Kazakh cuisine is truly unique, rich and, most importantly, healthy. Kazakh food is not limited by two or three dishes. There are a lot more than that. Our goal today is to study these dishes, explore the forgotten ones and reintroduce the recipes. An entrepreneur in Astana, Gulmira Shajanbaeva, has been collecting the recipes of forgotten Kazakh traditional dishes. Three years ago, she opened her own restaurant serving exclusive national cuisines that are in high demand not only among the locals but also foreigners as well. My maternal grandmother has kept and preserved these recipes for a very long time. She used to cook a range of delicious national dishes for her grandchildren. I am from the Akmola region, which is known for its variety of traditional dishes. I also learned how to cook the traditional food from Mangistau region, particularly loin ribs of a young lamb, Sube or Masa. The restaurateur has conducted a masterclass on how to cook the Sube Oramasa specifically for Kazakh TV channel. Gulmira said that the ingredients are nutritious and healthy. These are loin ribs of a young lamb. You can see that the ribs are put around the plate as a circle. We also added ingredients such as herbs, spinach and other spices. I put our branded sauce on top for food presentation. Experts said that the revival of the Kazakh cuisine will significantly contribute to the gastronomic tourism in Kazakhstan. They agreed that Kazakh chefs should preserve the recipes of Kazakh dishes as well as improve the cooking technologies. Therefore, the Kazakh cuisine will have a new path of development and will be recognized as a national brand around the world.